Hi guys and welcome! If you want to build a landing page or website, definitely this video can be handy for you because in this short video I want to show you all the editing features of one of the best platforms available in internet for nowadays uh, and I want to provide you with all information that you need uh, to build up your first landing page or website really fast without an extra efforts and without a need to learn coding or web design or, or some else things because everything is pretty built this platform allows you to use a lot of uh external tools and a lot of extra things to make your site not to be just pretty but to be as efficient as possible i don't want to make this video like one hour long tutorial you saw all those videos in in internet in youtube uh and i want to make it short with a maximum value for you and in the end of this video, you're gonna get an idea of how to build it by yourself, by your own hands. So let's jump straight to business. First, I wanna say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video, and you can easily get access to this platform straight from this video using the link in the description. And when you're gonna be on the start page, you need to press start a free trial, and you'll have 14 days uh, of trial version of this platform, and all the editing features are pretty the same. So that's what I want to show you. Let's jump inside. Okay, that how it looks uh, and landing pages, sites. If you want to build a big website, you need to press sites, conversion tools, leads, brand images, lead magnets, integrations, domains, and support. It's like a dashboard. Uh, and we're going to jump to editors. So create new landing page. You need to press, if we're talking about the landing pages, if we're talking about the site, you need to press the website. And here you go. There are a lot of interesting templates that already pre-built and that looks modern that looks cool that looks efficient that looks uh like pretty great and you can use any of them uh to customize it a little bit uh, to find the correct template you can sort it by the page type like about and be or blank build with me check out consultation can task giveaway and so on uh or by industry after automotive business and marketing education and and so so on restaurant and food like a lot of things actually and you need to be as specific as possible in this spot because in that case you're gonna find the template that will suit to your business and you just need to switch the colors switch the fonts switch the uh, the pictures maybe yeah switch the logo and that's it that's ready that's uh, ready to go but all the editing features are pretty the same and i want to show you the editor itself and in the end of this video you'll get an idea of how to build it by your own hands and this is what's important here first you need to give your page a name and after you'll be in the editor so what do we have here layout sections widgets styles and settings uh back your name and url of your website this lead matter great widget that shows how your uh, how your page will convert your visitors to your customers and uh, for now is excellent uh, and while you're gonna change some things you need to check this lead matter to be to be on excellent uh stage preview publish the the final final button preview uh, so you can check how your site um displayed in different types of devices uh and let's go to layout let's go straight let's scroll it a little bit and you see that there's a picture the parallax cool parallax effect uh, the footer and just one section everything is built up with the sections like here we have hero and footer just two sections and we can add a section from this point we can add a section from sections where we can scroll down and you see add a section here let's go to add section from this spot and you see the list of interesting tools that can be used for uh for your website for your landing page like and it's it's already done it's already done you just need to grab it and drop it uh testimonials just grab and drop uh and if you didn't found the correct tablet of a section you can use all those blank uh with with them and keep in mind that what what do you need really what what's gonna be uh, and this layout just four columns three columns two columns yeah couple rows uh let's add this one just drag and drop okay 
now we're gonna go back to layout and you see all those uh, all those sections that we added they are pretty here so footer is not in the spot I'm gonna move it to basement plans and pricing I don't want this section to be here I can delete it from this spot you see testimonials I can delete this testimonials from this spot also uh, this blank I will leave it here this about I don't need just to show you what's happening here in in all of those in all of those stuff uh, all right let's hover over the surface you see that each element has its blue box and you can edit each element with this pencil button all right uh, maybe you'll see the in different templates you see this divider line this means that we have like two columns and you can move it around and objects will reshape by itself you see the image of logo became small so it's up to you which uh which view you want to have which picture in general you want to get but the most precious thing that you can manage everything here if you do not understand what's happening you go into layout this is the hero section you can see it here just press it on it and you see that you have column one column two and you can add column or row straight from here okay is that clear probably it is uh, we can go to section style section settings we can make it from this spot and here we go background color uh, and you see that there's a picture and this is not a picture of this uh, block this is the picture of entire page and where to find it go to styles and here you go page background and here is this image we can change this image to save this parallax effect that we have so we're gonna change the background of entire page not the background of the each strip i used to make some stuff and here you go you see the picture is there and you can get you see the picture is pretty sharp and you can use image color overlay it is there actually but let's add some new stuff like gray color and you see it's overlaid so you need to change the opacity and you see the, the the result the picture is still there but it's like shaded with uh, with a color that's pretty cool so page width and a lot of stuff to uh, a lot of things to actually play around with you have here all the settings so let's go back and you see all those stuff if you want to change the color of this of uh, this section you need to go to layout uh hero settings this is column number one you press in the gear you see that there's a color and let's switch this color this one you see it's pretty customizable it's pretty uh easy and fast and you can customize everything just in couple clicks um and it's gonna be great all right you can make it full black not transparent you can make it half transparent as it was or less transparent so you see that this is actually uh up to you up to your taste for pictures and and so on so let's go i showed you the layout i showed you the sections and i'm gonna show you the widgets if you add some blank um uh, blank section uh, you need to add some widgets what are those those are pretty here but we're gonna press show less and those eight is basics as uh, all you actually need to build everything up just grab in video dropping it here you grab in a tax and dropping it here uh, you grab in a button and you drop it in, uh, here here you go if you want to change the size of this block you go into edit section settings to the height and you change in the size of this block and that's pretty it that's all you need with uh, uh with a customization yeah what's happening with the text is just click on it you can make this text like big or a little bit smaller add some spacing 
change some color of the text just need to grab them all you see there's a lot of things that you can do uh, with the text i'll not show you the text uh, editing because it's pretty simple and it's absolutely clear and uh, i think that even a child will handle this uh, that's why everything with the text is pretty pretty clear and understandable uh, what happening with the button and divider you see when you're gonna grab this uh, and move this you can reshape the objects to the size and shape that you want and guys we jump into most important part uh, inactive button like if here we have the button that works here we have inactive button what we're gonna do we need to add the click event and you see no link option so let's use a pop-up because in most cases it's gonna be the pop-up you need to create new uh, or you need to choose it from edit click event or you can uh use the pop-up that was previously made here for this uh for this uh, template you have email and street address depends it depends but most important part is edit integrations let's go here how are you gonna get new lead notifications lead notifications will drop to your inbox of your email or you can switch on the services external services that will help you to grow your email list like convertkit mailchimp active campaign constant contact discover all those actually and um, some of them has uh free options um, but in if you have a big client base definitely you need to pay for that um, if you don't want to pay for that and you want to integrate everything with the zapier that is also very cool and useful tool you can make everything with the zapier and for example google sheets you'll drop uh, all your leads will drop straight to your google sheets if you don't have a lot of leads per day and you do need to work with them uh like properly yeah so think about the moment when you're gonna get hundreds of leads yeah and in that moment you need to use the crm system you need to use the um, different different types of connection with that with that audience so let's go forward fields email and street address i don't want a street address i want to delete it uh, i want to add some field like first name maybe yeah uh, email and first name switching it the first name now the first uh, do not add more than uh th more than two fields because it's gonna make your site uh, it's gonna make this form less uh, affordable for people because people are lazy and you see lead matter just okay it was excellent and now it's okay because uh, remember uh, when you found some uh, valuable information and you like give us your email all right give us your email and, and you jump in into this pop-up and there's five fields like name city email uh, phone number and then you just you don't want to complete this form yeah that's uh, th that's it so don't use more than two fields uh email and first name is pretty enough to to um contact with a human being uh, that's sitting inside of, uh, of of your screen yeah lead matter became excellent back that's what i wanted to say actions what's going to happen when somebody will uh, complete the form and send you an information uh to get your home value all right it's just the contact but maybe to get your um uh, checklist of how to uh how to understand your home value yeah if you have some physical file like pdf you can add this lead magnet here uh, you can use external url landing page and default lead pages thank you page that's pretty it all the colors all the things you can change here in added section settings uh, that's pretty it let's go to settings i showed you layout sections widget styles uh here in styles also interesting thing that you can change font styles for entire page if you have a long layout and you have a lot of headlines you have a lot of text uh you have maybe countdown uh, you need to take care about all that and uh you, you can change the fonts straight from this spot like for all headlines for all text 
very useful and really fast. Settings, SEO, definitely you need your site to be visible to search engines. If not, I don't want search engines to index this page, just switch the flag on. Social, uh, if you wanna share a link to your landing page to some Facebook or Pinterest, that's how it will be displayed. So make sure that you have a picture here. Analytics, if you run your business, definitely you know that you need to get analytical information uh, about how your site is performing. So it's the spot to make that happen. And language, uh, you can choose the language between those uh, that you have here. That's pretty it, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, this was useful. I hope you got an idea that everything is pretty simple. Everything is really fast here on this platform and you can build it by yourself. So if you want to if you want to build it right now, just jump to the description panel of this video, find the link, uh, use that link to jump to get access to the platform and uh, go to editor and combine your first uh, website or landing page. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye and see you again.